Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to All Under the Squirrel Tree. Did you know that a squirrel's nest is called a dray? So, I live in a dray. Not for real, but welcome to my dray. I'm really glad you're here. I have a little crafty how-to video to share. And this was from the other one. So, I'm going to close it up because we don't want to lose any pieces and put it over here this is a really cute unique literally one of a kind because you're going to use your own hand uh, way to make a card or a wall hanging you know, a little picture whatever you like okay this is what you're going to need construction paper or nice you know nice paper you can use cardstock for this if you like but construction paper works just as well and all of the pieces and we'll get to that and we don't need this just yet so the very first and most important thing you need to do is make sure that the leaves aren't stuck and make sure that the googly eyes aren't there is trace and cut out your hand you trace it with a pencil and cut it out and if you need help that's fine I have a big hand and then you put it this way but before you glue it down before you glue it down I forgot what I was gonna say when you do glue it down remember you only want to glue this part here okay um, where's my glue so, only the palm of your hand, of your paper hand, gets glued down. And, you know, put it in the middle towards the bottom. You know, so sort of like that. Leave half an inch, a little bit there because, oh, you, actually, you don't even have to, but I, um, I made a little cuff little like a little lace cuff to put on it so but that goes on at the end so once this is down you cut out you if you it's always easiest to cut the pieces out first um so that and that's what i did just to save a little bit of time put your stems down and remember they don't have to be this long this is the, the full width of a piece of construction paper and they definitely do not have to be this long in fact I think they're too long so I'm going to trim them all a little bit quickly if I can get them all because you do want a, a little bit of it to stick out of the bottom but not all of it so there so there now, oh, I was going to take my water and, oh my goodness. Take your stems. Now hold still and put a little glue, just like this. doesn't need to be a ton, a ton, a ton. You just have to make sure that it sticks and then put them on the hand. It's okay if you cover up your thumb. It's definitely okay if you cross them. You don't have to. Make sure, though, that they are, you know, different angles because a bunch of flowers, if you're handing somebody a lovely bunch of flowers, they're going to be, they're going to be in a, in a bunch. and there you go oh I didn't cut that one very that's okay that's the thing about crafting it's okay you may want to plan it out a little bit more <laughs> but that's you know 
if you're running through a field and you grab just happily grabbing a handful of flowers, this is what it's going to look like. I think that one's just a wee little bit too far over. There. So now you got that. Then I've cut out tulips because they're easier to do. But you can cut out whatever type of flower you want. You can cut out a weed if you want. You could use artificial flowers if you want. You could cut them out of a magazine and, and paste them on paper and then cut that out or whatever you want. Then I should have used a different color pink from the hand, but I just forgot to put it on its side. <laughs> little bit of glue you do want there to be a little bit of dimension you don't want them like glued right flat down and then but if you do that's fine and let's put this one on the middle here And then this one. And that popped up and that's okay. Now, I think I like this one sticking out over the blue. So, there. You put them how you want. Now, the best thing to do oops, is let this dry. Then come your leaves. See, this is the thing. Everything has to come before you grasp it. I just cut out a bunch of leaves. And again, I want them to have a little bit of dimension and stick out a little wee bit. You don't have to. <laughs> Somebody remind me to put this on its side. Oops, that's a lot of glue. Did not need that much glue. Or that much. Fortunately, this dries clear. And you put some behind. I'm way out of frame there, sorry. They, they're all over. They stick out. That's what they do. It's nature. It stands out. Do whatever you like. Put them however you like. Put some behind, some in front. You cover up the leaves. This is how they're going to look when you grab a handful in real life. They're going to be bunchy and pretty and not like they're arranged by a florist although you could do that too if you wanted so there you go you got your leaves now definitely let this dry at least a little bit and then i just i just gotta check something okay good uh the first time i did one of these some for some reason my camera stopped working my fit my phone the camera stopped working halfway through then when they're all dry, or dry enough that you're confident that's where you want them, they're not going to fall, you put a little bit of glue just on the fingertips. Just, oh, just on the fingertips. And then, just like you're holding a bouquet of flowers, you bring them over. Your hand as well. The one... Two, three, and there you go. Now, you can hold and hope. <laughs> or, I think I need a little bit more glue on that one. Oh, this one's up just a wee little bit too far. There. And there. 
you've got your hand, your hand, because you've traced your hand, holding a bouquet of flowers, and it's just on this single piece of uh, paper, but then you can take your cardstock or folded construction paper, just fold it nice and neatly in half, and now this would be dry, but uh, just in the interest of the video, we're going to throw caution to the wind and not worry so much about it. Now, make sure you get, especially the corners, and you don't need a lot of glue, just good coverage, but not thick, thick, thick. And then put it in the middle of your card. And press it down lightly. You don't want to squish your flowers, unless you do, and then you can squish your flowers. And then, like I said, I cut out this little cuff because I don't like the way this, for myself, I don't like the way this just sits there. You could cut your, the piece of paper to have the longer wrist, but I didn't. But there I have uh, just a nice little brown cuff. I was going to do hole punches and make lace and everything. Um, you could use one of those lace, little paper lace doilies. You could use real lace. Whoops. And then there you go. Right up to the edge. If it goes over, you can wait till it dries and trim it off or leave it. But there you go. A lovely greeting card. A lovely bouquet of flowers for somebody. You know, just to picture it with, you know, not with the clear, the dry, the glue dried clear, but, and then you can open it up and write your message in here. So that was that. I've got leftover leaves. I will definitely use them for something else. I've got a video coming up for some firework flowers. So I'll save them for those. I really hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you make this. I would love to know that you made this. I would love for you to um, leave a comment and say, you know, like, I use these colors and, and this, that, and the other. Let me give it a thumbs up. But you are welcome to my dray anytime you like. And I really look forward to seeing you again under the tree. Bye.